So unfortunately, we live in a world where there are bad guys out there that want to do this nation and our people harm. So what that means that there will always be a need for places like this. My work is exciting because you never know what's going to happen. I get to design things, I get to do research, I pretty much have um, as much freedom as I could hope for. Uh, colleagues of mine that I graduated from college with are not at the levels that I am today in terms of responsibility and authority. I came here, like I said, after 9-11 because I wanted to do something that served a, a higher purpose than just making money. And it's not only given me that, but it's given me a lot of opportunities to improve my skills in areas that I don't think I would have had that opportunity. The two sites of the Naval Air Warfare Center Weapons Division have served the Department of Defense for over 60 years. Point Magoo is located on the Pacific Coast, approximately 50 miles north of Los Angeles, and maintains a fully instrumented 36,000 square mile sea range. More than 60 years ago, we got involved in doing uh, weapons test and evaluation. A naval captain flew over this area and said it'd be great for weapons test and evaluation. China Lake site is located approximately 150 miles northeast of Los Angeles in the high desert of California. With over 1,700 square miles of land ranges and 17,000 square miles of overland controlled airspace, Knock Weapons provides the Department of Defense with unique capability for full-scale weapons research, development, test, and evaluation. Um, we not only have the ranges, you know, a huge, vast expanse of uh, both land and sea ranges, but we also have all of the geography uh, types that we're going to find ourselves uh, engaged in around the world, from uh, mountain terrains to desert terrains to uh, wooded areas, uh, the littorals, the blue water ocean. Um, so we've got it covered. Now we do a lot of UAV work out here, testing over the sea test range. We're on the leading edge of technology. We're and then we, we, we take all of these laboratories and these simulation centers and these ranges and we network them together over a national network and then we create from that what we call a distributed synthetic environment. Oh, I think it's just so fulfilling at the end of the day for us to know that we were a partner with the federal government, with the people in uniform, and with our allies to make something happen that we know is going to be able to keep the world safe and make it a better place. Because I'm able to immediately have an impact on the troops in the field. And when they stand there and look at you in the eye and say, this saved my life two weeks ago. I just came back from being in theater and something went off and we were able to walk away, that reinforces what I do and why. Enter into a high-tech world with opportunities to grow and explore. One of the most unique things about working here is getting the opportunities to be creative. You know, whether it's prototyping, you know, some small device that's an enhancement to an existing or coming up with the big ideas on, on larger things. 
Quebec, Lima, this is Bad Monkey. This work is um, really cool because then when I watch CNN or I watch the news, I see what I played in it, what I did, what I did to enable it. Weapon away. fun to watch stuff blow up. <laughs> uh, they test fired a rocket just the other day. That was, you'd hear that thing rumbling. Some of the exciting things I've done, I've actually got to drive a tank. My kid just couldn't believe that I was driving a tank. I got to uh, climb an 80-foot tower. Uh, we have people who are uh, the recognized national experts in their area, particularly in things like uh, electronic warfare. We have the folks who are you know, truly the national experts at jammer technologies. worry if they don't feel confident enough to start a new job, um, they'll get on the job training. So everyone will be guided here, everyone's so friendly, and they'll help you. They'll help you, they'll guide you, they'll teach you. Another nice thing is the benefits package. As, as a government employee, we have nice benefits package, including retirement, health, life insurance, which is uh, definitely a, a nice thing to have uh, as part of retirement. It's probably the best uh, perk we have uh, is getting to keep our, life, our health insurance uh, after through retirement. Well, definitely, there were a lot more opportunities. That was part of the reason I chose this job, was because if I get a clearance, then it seemed pretty easy to move laterally in the government, just period, yeah. anywhere. I think the opportunities that I've had here that, that are, are, are fairly unique is, like a lot of people here, is the ability to get hands-on very, very quickly. And if your desire is to get into you know, more challenging positions, they're there. And, and that's what I think that I don't necessarily see in a lot of other organizations. Today we, we face a different kind of threat, and, and some would say that it's uh, perhaps an even more dangerous threat, uh, you know, as evidenced by 9-11, where it's become very real to us. And so unfortunately, we live in a world where there are bad guys out there that want to do this nation and our people harm. So what that means that there will always be a need for places like this. The future of the weapons division is bright simply because weapon systems continue to evolve. The way we use them, the way we employ them, and the way that we link the weapons together to prosecute the war on terror is always causing us to sharpen our pencil and look at new solutions. We are actively hiring and we are looking at the resumes submitted through our website as well as other technical shows or symposiums or conferences that we are attending with our technical managers looking for candidates to come here to do the exciting work that we participate in. Our business is exciting just because of the, the type of business it is, but the willingness to really to, to, to go where other people don't think you can is uh, what uh, I really like about the weapons division.